Taking a trip with your family and kids can be overwhelming and exhausting when you're over 40 like me. This is why when I planned a trip to the zoo, I planned it to last a little over three hours. If you like the story and relate to the content, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. We drove to Jerusalem in the afternoon, after most parents had already left. I am many things, but a morning person is not one of them. However, it was to our benefit as a less crowded zoo allowed us for better access to the exhibitions, which would have been overcrowded. Also, when you're with family members that are in the vulnerable category, vulnerable to COVID and other viruses, you don't want to stand in the middle of a crowd too long. So, shorter trips, when the zoo is less populated, is the best way to keep everyone safe. Yep, you guessed it. These are lemurs. It doesn't beat the Cypress in cage experience. There are some lovely exhibitions at the Jerusalem Zoo. However, unlike safaris, most animals are trapped in cages, often too small for their needs. The grounds on which the zoo is built are lovely and quite vast, but animals like the leopard and the lion that need a lot of running ground to mimic its natural hunting habitat don't have such available to them. Instead, they live in quite limited confined spaces. It made me a little sad despite enjoying the zoo. My nephew had quite a great time and even bonded with a turtle that responded to his hand as he tried to touch it through the glass. It was amazing to see that some of the animals seemed as curious about us as we are of them. The turtle tried repeatedly to give my nephew a high five. As for me, the fact that a lot of animals were behind a glass was not an ideal situation as a photographer as it does not make great photography. But I try to make the most of it. What we're about to see are red pandas. I think they're one of the cutest animals in the world. They're kind of a combo between a ginger raccoon and a cat. They don't really look like pandas, but they're super adorable. Just look at that face. Taking either photos or videos of them was a real challenge because one, they keep moving, and two, the window through which you can see them is quite small, dirty, and so full of reflections. I don't think we quite saw everything at the zoo because we ran out of time and energy, but we had a great time. And isn't that the most important thing? I took quite a number of high quality photos with my new Canon 70 to 200 mm lens. It was the first time I took it out in the field and was able to capture some of the most beautiful nature shots I've had the opportunity to take to date. For that, I am grateful for the zoo and all its animals. As much as I like bears because they all remind us of our teddy bears, I am fascinated by elephants. I find that they have a certain mystic grace. However, I like all animals and I am fascinated by nature and all its wonders. In my opinion, people stuck at home playing video games really need to get out more. And that includes myself. I'm a big video gamer and a house cat and I don't get out as much as I'd love to. Because, you know, there are so many things to do in this world. It would be unrealistic to think you can do everything. But you can try. And isn't that the most important thing? The journey that you take in life, trying to do as many things that are enjoyable to you as possible. The last thing we saw at the park were the giraffes. They hung around an open space, a little closer to a safari. But still, with comparatively limited space. It's the one thing I prefer about the Ramat Gan Zoo. It's an actual safari and has open spaces for many of its exhibitions. If you stick around, subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell, 
I promise you I will go back there and take you on a tour of the Ramadgan Safari. But first, I have other journeys I wish to share with you, one of which will hopefully be the Gazelle Valley near Jerusalem. I plan to take a trip there within the next few months. If you're still with me, there's a link in the description below you can use to donate an amount of your choosing. It would go directly to me and not a third party taking its cut. It can be just a few dollars, the price of a coffee, and that will go a long way into helping me continue making videos. So thank you so much in advance for your support. Until next time, have a wonderful week. <laughs>